Good morning, this is Burnwright, and welcome back to the Russian campaign where we are crushing, about to crush, our rivals as soon as our Regency Council ends. Point three percent chance. Hooray! Personal, you're at risk of becoming a junior partner in a personal monarch between me and Theodoro. No thanks. It's only 15. So what I need to do, I need a general. Ah, 2-2-3-2. Two, two, two. That's not terrible. I need to declare war against these guys. They'll all join. Persia will join. Theodora will not. Threatened attitude towards Russia. Why do you have a threatened attitude towards me, guys? Once my provinces. That's not nice. So they can come up through here. I have a good amount of troops here defending and like holding down rebellions and stuff. And I can just push through here. They do have how much? They do have about 30,000 troops, but they're in the war with Iraq and Korea. So I guess it's a question of, you know, Will they be able to deal with me? Now Persia will join in and probably handle a lot of Tabaristan, Oman, and Baluchistan. How many does Persia have? Will I have to go rescue them? They're not terrible. I probably will have to go rescue them or something. What about you guys? The guy in the Golden Horde. So Sabir is not your... Huh, I can just take these guys. They have no allies. I have a war goal. And I can expand, and then I can do... No, I'll wait. I'll wait on that. Because I want... I need to humiliate someone. And you guys are at war with Bukhara Tabaristan. So... You're losing, though. You have about as many troops. Oops. Yearly prestige plus one for 13 years. For 10 admin power. Yes. I need prestige. 1.68 yearly. Excellent. Uncontested cores. What is uncontested cores? I don't know what that is. Uncontested cores. Contested cores. Prestige. Uncontested cores. For every one of your core provinces held by another nation. So that's... Where do I get a list of uncontested cores? Uh, I was probably one of these map modes. Culture, unrest, colonial, technology. I don't know. That stinks. And it's probably the Commonwealth of Scandinavia. There's nothing I can really do about that right now. Yeah, Russia considers this to be one of our core provinces. Abandoned core. Will cost 10 prestige. But it will restore relations with them. You guys are not at war anymore. Commonwealth will join. So yeah, so it's all those. So 
I think I should declare war against Bukharistan. I can just go start taking. This will defend here. Persia should be okay. Should be. I kind of want another... Let's see. Oh, there's nothing. This fort is on. I can get access through here. They will give me access. So, I can get access to Sharan and then send this unit down, take care of stuff, and this come from this direction and help out Persia. So let's just move over here. And they're in, so diplomacy, ask for military access, send yes. You guys, I have too many relations, it's true. Diplomacy, they're still at war, they're not doing as well. Do you still have as many troops? No, 30,000. And your manpower is suffering, which is good. So let's do this. Let's get some power projection. Persia will join in. Okay, show superiority. Declare war. Hooray! Didn't I just get military access? Are they not at war with me? Yeah. Head jazz. I didn't count for them. I guess I didn't look for vassals. That was very smart. Oh, that's what you want to do. Okay, so you go down and do that. And you come in to here. I think everyone else should stay where they are right now. Let's turn down speed four. Oh, and my gen I didn't put my general on anyone. Stupid. At least I can put them on there still. I might switch them once they get to, uh... It's this guy up here. It's a 1-3. Where are you heading? You're going over to Kazan. Interesting. Are you looking to attack me? There's Tabaristan's troops. They're moving away. Coming back down. That'd be nice if Perm joined me. What's going on over here? We're taking this fort. They have a couple little units. Nothing important. Looks like they handily defeated them. Looks like their fleet is being suppressed, which is not great. You are not going to fight me. What are you doing, Perm? Uh-oh. Could lose that. Pretty good. <laughs> In fact, without a general, I'd say I'm guaranteed to. They're going to get their 20 cents. They're not enough to run away, so I'm going to have to retreat. Man. Look at this. It's not great. They have a lot more. There we go. Perm's coming in. Oh, come on. My rolling is terrible. And they're going to reinforce with a whole bunch more. So let's run. You're going to run all the way over there. So I lost the first battle, of course. They do have a lot of troops. It's not a joke. Let's make sure there's still a war with... Alright, okay. 
We'll do better here with Persia being close by. We can finish taking this fort and then Tabaristan will be mostly neutralized. Let's get this other one. Stupid losing battles. It's not what I want to do. 21%, nice. Ardalan has entered a military alliance. Are they gaining more people? No. Loose. Ah, why? I want some. I'm going to take it back. You're the retreated army. So let's head back over here. And you can come down too. This should be done soon. What do we get? They're gonna win that battle. Or no, they're going somewhere else. Okay, we call our diplomat with Persia. We're at zero percent war score. So let's go here. And you come over here. Hopefully you don't run into anyone too big while I'm separating them. So split this in half and you go here and I'll take that. Then we can reconsolidate over here and take this fort. A peace offer from Tabaristan. They will cede something to Persia. No, all treaties. Pay 58 ducats. I'll gain 3 prestige. Let's decline. Let's get some more. Things are going well. And I can use you to get another battle here. Let's see. We'll do that. Didn't have any siege progress there anyway. I just got there. You come back over. over two. Still no, so we have two. We need to win two more battles to get our 80%. How's this going? Okay, so we took this. You gotta be careful over here. I'd rather not engage and lose again. Oh, can you take the leader? Yes, that's what I like. Although that siege was probably helping. But I'll need it up here. So you're going to go through here. Win another battle. We'll just take these down while we're sieging this. Hopefully he'll join in and make the siege go much faster. Or not. And then we can peace out to Baristan. Okay, they're up here. 26,000. Perm is here too. They're not moving. So I think I could take that on. The 131 and I have my 223 now. And Perm is over here. They might join in. That would be nice. Doing alright down here. Persia should win that. From Tabaristan. No, I want to get a complete control here. So there, another 24,000 there. That's not good. This is mountains though. I like that. They're moving over. My guy should get out. 16 November, 10 November. Okay. Uh, we can cancel this military access with Shirvan, so we don't get that penalty. They beat them. It'd be good to have mountains, although I do not have a general here. 
Maybe I should peace out. Because this is... What is that? 7,000 men? Yeah, perfect. Let's peace out to Barristan. They're super low. Sue for peace. Give me some more reparations. I like war reparations. Annul treaties with Bukhara and the Ottomans. This won't cost me any Diplo power. And it's gaining me prestige. Release nations, no. No provinces, no thanks. I can give that to Persia, and Persia would be happy, but they're already happy with me. So let's do this. That's fine. We'll go into Persia here. Desert Highlands. And they're less. That's the Tabaristan. Let's merge this back together. And we will head over here with Persia. Persia's doing well down here. Their fleet's still blockaded and stuff. That's fine. Baluchistan. So we could get them the peace out too, maybe. No? What do they want? They don't want anything. How's this going? They're still sitting in here. We're taking this. Do they have any river crossings here? Sozak? So just from down here. <laughs> and... Could probably take them if we attack and perm joined us, but I'd like to finish that siege too. Do we have a ticking war score yet? One on four. No, we need one more. One more victory. Uh, we could get that against Baluchistan. Maybe. I'm wondering, so should I send my army up there, or should I go down here to fight? And then we could piece them out separately. Look, my prestige is only minus 21. It's so good. Where's the unrest? That's not bad. It's down here. Riga's there for some reason. You go over there. Uh oh. They're moving here. So do these guys have a leader? Yes, they do. Let me see if I can help them out. I don't know if I'll get there in time. Probably not. Not even close. There's this dry lands. They're moving over there. Hooray! Siege completed. I think I could take them. I'm pretty sure I could. And these guys are moving up in here. Where are they going to get there? 14 March? They're not going to get out. And how long is it going to take you? 18 April. Huh. Oh, I can't move in there. Will you give me, uh... More military access? No, no. They said no. It's kind of annoying. So these guys will be tired after this, at least. Although I just lost two more battles. So that's what? Three to three? Fifty percent again? Very nice. They have a better general, but they just fought two battles, so the morale is terrible. We won that. Let's see numbers. About six, seven thousand. They lost a lot more. 
Okay, where are you going? Kukara is heading to Samarkand. Nope, I can't go that way. <laughs> so you'll just sit on this fort here. And you'll come down. Oh wow. Let's go help Persia. You can... You're almost done there. We'll take that and go fight them. Get some easy battles. So Persia's there. Still no ticking war score, which is painful. Luchistan still is high. Georgia's truce has ended in Syria, whatever. Lose a ton of money or gain three inflation. That's a lot of money to lose. I'm gonna go with inflation. So we won there. We'll just take these provinces. Have this army, like, back up these guys, reinforce them when needed. And you are going to help out Persia against them. Take that. It's all going very nice to plan. Excellent. Gain 100 population in my colony. Do not mind that at all. They have become self-sustaining. Excellent. Send the colonists. More provinces. More prestige. Look, my prestige is at 19. So, he's moving around sieging back provinces. He's going to go fight Perm. They're getting out on 29 October. He's getting there 6 November. So he's going to arrive. Nice. Alright, going to fight them. Let's see. They're going to flee somewhere. I'll just go and siege this while we're waiting. Persia's up here. They're sieging Persia. Should I go down and help? Where's he going? They're not going. Oh, maybe he's moving around due to the fort restrictions. That's super annoying. I can help Persia with this one. Where are you heading? Kazilium. They don't need any help. They're fine. Good old Persia. Unexpected ally. Where is this guy retreating to? You are heading to Bukhara, so let's go up here. Let's see what you do. You're gonna want to siege that back. You have a one three zero. I have a better leader. Charjui, yep. So for me and Karshi, so not from. So I could come in from here, bring in the other 11,000, and I should be able to crush them quite handily. What is this? Really prestige plus one. Lose five prestige. Lose ten men power and ducats. Pay a little bit of admin power for prestige for 20 years. Yes. That's good. Can we can we get to this? No. So we'll go in and siege them. All these guys are fleeing. We'll take this unit on. Maybe Persia will even back us up. Nope, they're going away. So Reinforce. Knowledge is power. National unrest plus two or lose ten prestige. Five years of unrest. 
Hooray, we won! Cost them a lot more men. So that's rebel in 60 years, 20 years, 50, 60, 200 years. Okay, that's all good. And we defeated them. Let's just go back here and start sieging one of those. We're going to siege this guy. Where are they moving? Nowhere. Uh oh. Oman and Hejaz. Persia's got it. Do we have that ticking war score yet? No. One. So we lost three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine to three. That should be. That's 75%. So we need one or two more battles to win. Uh oh. We better win this perm. I don't know what's going on over there, but... They're heading back up to Samarkand. Let's just go and crush them. Still have 72,000 manpower. We'll probably be able to sever peace out these guys pretty soon. Oh, it's a lot. Of people all over the place. Then we'll win that. And we can take you here. You to here, because he's going to Kiva. So we'll just sweep up that. How come my war... No one has won enough battles, 80%. So soon? Is it individual? Or do they don't count if it's not enough? Is it like an individual country has to win 80% of their battles? Something like that. Oh, where are these guys going? Going back that way. They're popping up troops all over the place. I'm just stack wiping them. This siege is over. So they're sieging here, but they will not be able to... And that's in mountains. Don't want to do that. Could just go down there and grab that fortress. Although I don't really want to leave Persia alone over here. You know? They're doing... I don't want to lose it. I want them to lose this battle. I'll, I'll stay. You want to come in to the mountains? Still no ticking war score. So they're going to get there on 14 August. These guys might come down to siege it. But then I can just go over and grab this one. It's fine. Oh, and here come the Persians. So they're going to get there on 13 September. I'll get there. Nope, I'll stay. Do not want to fight them in the mountains like that. And once we take this, we can just move over. We're already at minus seven. Oh, it looks like they're running away down there, huh? Not really a bad decision for them. These guys are going to lose. They better lose. I lost. God, I wasn't paying attention. They have a bunch of river crossings. Yeah. I was not paying attention. Where are you heading to? All the way back there. So 
He's coming there in two or ten days. Okay. So I should have this. Their morale is already low. Didn't get the river crossing penalty. Maneuver, good. Maneuver, good. So I guess we can go sit on this castle. That's in the desert. Oh, this one's in the mountains. Can I sit on this one? No. Afghanistan, give me access rights. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see if we can piece out these guys. Alright, medium. They will. And give war reparations, which is wonderful. And give me some money, not all that. That's fine. Should we finish the siege? Nah. And they're black flagged. Should have gotten out. So they'll be here sitting in the mountains, and they have the general. Can you get unblack flagged over here? No. You have to go all the way back, don't you? So peace offer from Bugara. They'll pay. Decline. What do we need to humiliate you? Ah, oh, you will humiliate and peace offerings now, and you will null treaties. Not with the Ming, but with them. Should we take a province? They take them. No, they won't give it to us. That's fine. I have humiliation. I'll gain some prestige. Get a bunch of money. Not that much, I guess. And 30 power projection. That's really what I wanted. And these guys are black flagged anyway, so I don't really see much of a point. Hooray! I have positive power projection. Fine, everything is. Yes, whatever. Provincial unrest in Astrakhan. All these places. So I'll send one of these guys uh, here. And I'll send one over here. You're guarding the colonies and you're suppressing rebels there. So that'll be taken care of. I don't really like any of these missions. I've got a little power projection. Arat is still at war with Kazan, Golden Horde, and Nagai, and they just had another thing. So I could declare war against Kazan. Persia would join in as well. And I could take another province and humiliate them. What about these guys? Persia would not join in. They have a truce. Korea would join. So Korea would join. Who do you have vassals? None. How long does your truce last with, with them? 67. Six more years. So I should attack and just humiliate Kazan immediately, because they're at war with Arat. And then I can attack Arat and humiliate them. Where are you, Kazan? 34,000. And you guys have 30,000. <laughs> Interesting. I should attack one of them. But well, my manpower is still pretty great. And my war exhaustion is low. Patriarch authority is wonderful. I can invest in technologies. I can get my idea group. And I can get infantry shock 0.5. Plus 0.5. That's nice. How much does it cost? 445. I love these modifiers and being westernized. It's wonderful. 
336 admin power. And get an idea group. Which I've been stewing on. I think I really want humanist ideas. Offensive would be nice to get better generals. Better, more prestige from land battles is great. My prestige is minus 10. That's really good. Um, well, it's really good compared to what it's been for a long time. <laughs> and morale, morale recovery speed. Or humanist. This national unrest is wonderful. It's minus two in separatism. So I just want to expand super fast and get some more cultures accepted. Idea cost minus ten. That's wonderful also. So is my national focus still here? No, it's not. I'm getting a seven five five. Well, I'll think on that a little bit more. I'm going to take a break here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.